Welcome to my shop. Well, at least as much shop as I get. It is just a tent. It's my everything. It's my machine shed. It's my workshop. It's my dirt floor. And it's in a horrible state of mess, as you can see. I had that all in a nice neat pile, and the cats decided that uh, they can make better use of everything. This engine I had out on the bench for over a month, ringing valves. I'm about to fire it up for the first time since I put it back together. We'll see what happens. I have my son here with me to watch it fire it up. I only tapped over the starter once just to make sure it's actually going to seem to work electrically. That's firing. It's going to have to crank for a little while because the fuel system's dry. But um, it chokes. Let's let her crank over, see if she pops off okay. I'm a little bit worried. I had some issues with the front cam bearing, but it's got oil in it. It's the only fluid in it, so here's open. Fuel system's totally dry. Yeah, well, we gotta suck fuel up into it. It's gotta crank over to do that. Hmm. Let's help out with a bit of engine starter fluid, huh? Let's give that a try. Okay, and we're back. We're gonna got the air cleaner pulled off. <sighs> See if we can get it to crank up. Fuel filter isn't filling. Huh. Well, that's probably half the problem. Yeah, fuel filter isn't filling up. That filter is fuel, so... Yeah, well, if the fuel filter isn't filling up, we know that the fuel isn't coming up. I just gotta figure out why. We'll be right back. And we're back. I have no idea if it had anything to do with it not getting fuel, but the fuel tank was completely bone dry. I don't remember doing that. Anyway. Probably so you could work on it in the office. Well, there's no reason to bring the fuel tank on the tractor, though. I'm not sure. Let's fire it up. Let's see if we get fuel in there. Yeah. Full choke. I shut it off. Well, I gave it throttle, but... It's alive! When I get off the choke... It's off. It, uh... Get off the choke, it 
dies of starving for fuel, so car probably needs minor adjustments. That's not a big deal. But you were, oh, the carburetor here that oh. mixes the air and the fuel. So that's going to have to get a bit of adjustment when I gave it a little bit of choke, though. It, it, it ran real smooth. But. That smoke exhaust. Well, that smoke, but there's oil in the cylinders from putting it together, so it's going to smoke a bit in the beginning. Yeah, because it has but it ran smooth. Yeah. Ran real smooth. Very happy with that. So. Mango. Fuel filter filled up right away. Imagine that. All you got to do is put gas in the tank. Whoops. I did notice, though, so, I got fuel leakage around my fuel lines right here on the fuel pump. So, yeah, it, uh, the clamps aren't clamping very tight. I might have to get some, instead of them stupid little spring clamps, get some regular hose clamps to uh, give it a bit of oomph on the bite. But, very happy it ran. That's awesome. That's awesome. Always nervous when you're first fired up. Like, did I do something wrong? But I didn't hear any rattling. Like what you heard last year? Yeah, last year it wasn't running all that good. Yeah, but now this year she's in a typical. Oh, it's gonna shape. purr. It's gonna purr. So wow. Yeah. Very happy. <laughs> I call it a success.